So, Tuesday morning had a little bit of a victory for us here in AMRAP set 225 for 13 consecutive repetitions. As anyone who's been watching my training vlogs for a while now knows, AMRAP sets are actually quite rare for me to incorporate. It's not common, but the intent here on this top end set was to clear 10 consecutive repetitions. And then whatever clean reps I had left in the tank, should I desire to do so, programming-wise, I was allowed to put them out. And I was pleasantly surprised when I managed to get three more than originally intended or projected. Backed off that 225 to 205 and cleared three more sets of 10 repetitions. So as you can imagine, the pump was real. The pecs were definitely a little bit tight. The upper body was certainly tired. Moved into some hammer grip wide pull downs with the short bar, starting with a 90 pound load. And then as I increased the load over multiple working sets, I tapered the reps executed down managed to get up to 140 pounds so that was encouraging as well considering that all my pull down and row variations now are pretty much symmetrical they still feel a little bit lopsided but they don't appear to look lopsided which is progressive and then we got the close grip easy bar line tricep extensions here this was a really weird feeling being able to roll the big wheels on each side of the bar for a top end set of 15 and then maintain for high repetitions across all working sets. My triceps were absolutely trashed without a doubt, but being able to move this type of weight for high reps, it's a strange feeling considering that, you know, I often forget how far I've come because I don't often look back at where I used to be. And this was one of those moments where I really realized how all the work I'm doing in the weight room is paying Thursday off. morning proved to be a great morning with a good morning top and single all-time PR, 300 pounds for one repetition, and then backed it off to 270 pounds for four respective singles. And then we went into split squats, 102 and a half pounds for three sets of five to 10 reps per leg. The reality was it was 10 reps per leg on set one, and then five reps per leg on set two and three. Most weight we've done on these split squats here, and my legs were toasty, especially after the intensity of effort required to get that weight moving on the good morning. Morning. Surprisingly, singles can be exhausting as well. And then finished off with some posterior chain work here. Back extensions for four sets of 15. And Thursday was a wrap. So Saturday morning's overhead press here with one plate. Kind of an encouraging set to move for this many repetitions. Was not supposed to be an AMRAP set. It was supposed to stop at 10 repetitions. However, I lost count. And then by trying to regain count as I was moving the weight, I lost count again. Doubted myself twice. And so I ended up doing 12. I'll take it, but I'm really not a fan of doing this. It bothers me. I'm a bit of a perfectionist when it comes to the numbers that I intend to execute and the ones that I do execute. However, I guess a win is a win, so we can't be upset. At least I didn't shortchange myself under the bar. Four sets with 122 pounds, 10 repetitions per set. As you can imagine, not only were my shoulders toast my triceps were demolished this was a brutal primary lift then we got into some close grip pull downs here high rep sets encouraging the pulls are very much symmetrical in their execution which was a big point of concern i know i sound like a broken record with that a little bit too much body english here but we'll take it i'm encouraged after these were done i tried to be a hero First time working with the Swiss bar using the widest grip placement. Uh, low balled the weight or so I thought and I was going to do three sets of 20 to 25 reps. Came out of the gates, 25 reps on set one and the fatigue accumulating from those overhead presses earlier in the workout and must have got to me because we went 15 on set two and barely managed to get 10 repetitions on set three. So you win some, you lose some. Into the close grip barbell JM presses here, 90 pounds on the bar, four sets of 10. My poor triceps are taking an absolute beating. And then we finished off this upper body training session with two sets of strict barbell curls, 77 pounds for five reps. We're gonna be focusing on really building the weight on that curl. It'll be interesting to see where we can bring it over the next few months. Sunday morning. You know it's a bad leg day when Dom's sets in like 
an hour after your workout or not even like during your final working sets, you can already tell that the amount of volume that you did under the bar is going to make for a really uncomfortable next few days. 190 pounds on the bar, 10 repetitions per leg. Not only were my glutes demolished, but I was out of breath. This is a lot of weight to do 20 walking lunges with. Now, I don't count it as 20, it's 10 per leg, but that's a lot of time under tension with this much load. So, uncomfortable would be an understatement. And then, backed it off to 168 pounds after this and did 10 repetitions per leg for two more working sets, which, yeah, it's a significant back off in load. However, it doesn't feel like that much of a back off when you're doing all of that work. I figured, hey, it's 168 pounds now. It won't be so bad. It was just as bad, if not worse, probably worse because the fatigue had set in already. Just not a great Sunday. An encouraging Sunday relative to the progressive nature of it, but a discouraging Sunday relative to the fact that my legs were sad. Very, very sad. Now, as soon as I got through all of this brutal volume, I hit a big all-time PR on the trap bar. High handle setup. 555 pounds. I realize it's the trap bar. It's not that as exciting compared to a conventional deadlift. But let me tell you, to pull that weight off the ground, it was pretty intense. There was a lot of strain. But I felt like a boss. I love big wins like that. And then look at this cringy nonsense. Me attempting to mess around with a hang clean. Just an empty barbell. I don't know what the heck I'm doing. This is sad. We're just going to hope that if I keep practicing, something progressive comes of it. But first time, sad.